I'm Diana Steele and I'm here at Fresh Street Market today talking about keeping your kitchen clean. And I don't just mean tidy. Uh, an interesting tidbit though, people who wipe their counters the most in this particular study that I read, um, they had the most bacteria on their counters in comparison to the bachelors who were rarely wiping their counters. And it's because, what are you wiping your counter with? Your sponge and your dishcloth. And so how do you keep these kinds of things clean? The two bacteria that are most common in your kitchen are the coliform bacteria, which is a fecal bacteria, and the staphylococcus, uh, which can cause vomiting and diarrhea. And they are spread easily in your sponge or in your dishcloth and through cross-contamination can get all over the place. They might come from your hands, from food, a variety of places. So to keep your sponge clean, one thing you can do is uh, every day you would get it wet and then put it in your microwave and microwave it at high for one or two minutes. You have to make sure that it's a sponge that doesn't have any metal in it um, and that will kill the bacteria. The other thing you can do is put it into a full cycle of, in your dishwasher and that will help to also kill the bacteria and the viruses. Putting lemon juice on it does not kill the um, parasites and viruses that are on those sponges. You can do the same thing with your dishcloth, either the microwave or you can wash it in the washing machine on a sanitary cycle. Um, changing your dishcloth every day is probably not a bad idea unless you're actually mi microwaving your, your cloth. The the other thing you want to think about is your countertops. And so what are you cleaning your counter with? First of all, use your hot soapy water and get rid of all of the um, the, wax, or the grease that's on there so it's actually clean. And then you want to sort of flood it with um, your bleach, bleach solution. So you put one teaspoon of bleach in three cups of water and then you would spray this all over your counter and let it sit there for a few minutes. Now bleach and water together will break down into sodium or salt. Um, so it's not harmful when you go and put food on there later. But if you wanted to wipe it up after, use a, down, or a, a dry paper towel rather than another cloth, which you might be recontaminating with. Otherwise, just let it air dry and you will have a clean countertop. You can also use bleach down your kitchen sink, just a little bit of bleach to sanitize the, the kitchen or the sink. If you are worried when you're washing your fruits and vegetables, if your sink is clean enough, you might want to just put a bowl in your sink and then wash your fruits and vegetables in the bowl. That way you don't have to sanitize your sink every time you're going to clean.